Hello and welcome back to the Robin C. Lark channel. I am a painter and this video is going to be a message for artists and creatives alike. I have a call out, something I think a lot of us have been doing wrong. And frankly, I think it's time we talked about it. It's holding me and you back and really, I think we're better than that. Whatever stage of creativity you are at, this video is for you. I think it will help. Today, we're gonna to be doing both a conversation and some visualizing. I've been working on my own artistic series and I'm gonna show you how I've been playing that out and I'll also talk a little bit toward uh, the end about my personal uh, endeavors. If you happen to like it, like this video, check out my other videos. Maybe subscribe. I am Robin Seelark everywhere on the internet, mostly Instagram and here. As you've seen from the title, we are talking about the differences comparing art style and art series. Because y'all and me talk a lot about art style, but what we don't really talk about is series. And within that little leap of difference in priorities, maybe the thing that's gonna set you free creatively on your next venture, your next journey, your next series. What is art style? Art style is generally, from what I've seen, people chasing after their unique individuality, the way they apply what they think about and envision to their creative craft. In the case of painters like me, it's maybe what kinds of colors you use, what style of paint application, what subject matter you paint. Do you have a more visual undertaking or are you trying to do something abstract or conceptual? Are you trying to move people with uh, whatever you're making? Yeah, okay, that may sound valid, sure, whatever. But what if, what if we could narrow it more than that? What if instead of just looking all day, day after day at other artists that you admire, you could have a more strategic way that you enter that world of admirable artists and uh, are really creating things rather than wondering and chasing? That's where an art series comes into play. Okay, What's an art series? We talked about the style, visual vibes and feeling. A series, by contrast, is doing something similar, but breaking it down into a smaller chunk of work. Maybe it's creating a certain number of artworks for a show. Maybe it's creating an EP. If you're in music, you know, something smaller. The EP is like a sampling of what the full album will be. So think of your art series as more of a sampling of what you want the scope of your art and artistic self to be. The series can be connected in just one small way. It doesn't have to be so rigid. You want to think of something like maybe your canvas size being the same always, or always working on a certain type of subject, or always using specific colors, or having a theme maybe. My theme for this series is going to be mourning. I'm going to make a number of pieces all around the theme of mourning. What's great about a series is it's a lot less committal than trying to track down the epic thing, this un- un- ungrabbable thing that is your art style, your one true unique art style, something that develops itself more through you creating bodies of work than you just conceptualizing. Debate me. Debate me if you want, if you will. But I do think that the key by doing a series, a limited body of work, is that you begin to think more in terms of tangible product that you're creating rather than fantasy, a creative landscape that is not really formed or consumable to other people. A big thing that I've been thinking about is what do you want to show people? And what do you want to be known for as an artist? Which gets at some of the questions that people are chasing when they want to figure out their art style. But again, doing a series moves it from this theoretical space of your style into 
a tangible space of a series. If you want for people to get to know you as a creative, an artist, you need to give them something they can really attach to and think of when they think of you. You don't have to be so, so narrow that you lock yourself into your one chosen style if you have the flexibility of a thought process more like series. <laughs> We're gonna move into some personal stories to try to attach these concepts of art style versus art series into my career path as an artist so that maybe you can link into this concept a little bit more. I have been a professional artist full-time for six years and in that time and even before that time in college when I was just avidly pursuing artwork on a regular basis, I have had multiple shifts. Think about Pablo Picasso and how he worked in different periods and people can reference his work from different stages of his career and be like, oh yo, that's Picasso's blue period, I see you. Well, it's quite likely as a creative person you're going to be personally and artistically evolving, which means that not only are you wanting to chase some creative vision, you're wanting to chase creative adaptability and part of that is recognizing that not everything you're going to be doing decade after decade conceivably in your creative span will be the same but it will find common themes and ways to connect itself and a good way to really hone in on those connections and the deeper connections that you have to what you're creating is by producing things like series, giving yourself a tangible product that then you can sift through and move yourself more directionally. In that you are kind of chasing your art style, but it's more long term. It's the proof in the pudding. Your art style is what comes out of you. We have our taste, our aesthetic, our goals and desires, and then we have what we actually make when it comes regurgitated out of our creative abyss. So there's a difference, there's going to be a difference, whether that's a skill gap of what you hope for versus what you can make, or just the difference of translating thought into physicality. You're not going to really be able to see those things happen and track yourself to hone who you are unless you make product and that's the same way that your audience and people who are going to support you potentially are going to be able to do that journey with you. So starting in college I shifted from hyper realistic portraiture as my focus to landscape. Then I went down to these mini landscapes when I was living in a small place and trying to produce artwork, finish school, and do teaching and side jobs. After I had decided to be a full-time artist, I scaled up a little bit and I focused pretty much on waves. That's when I started my YouTube channel. And through time, I got more exploring and wanted to try different mediums and subject matter, abstract things, illustrative things, realism, and in addition to painting landscapes, I also wanted to try out the figure again. So I was kind of all over the map. Lately, I've been wanting to hone back into some of the focus that I've had in previous times. So again, in answering this question of what do I want to show and be known for, I had to think about my style, my series, and series has been a great way for me to move forward. I have an awesome patron who really turned me on to thinking about the idea of series because he was researching it himself, Stephen Tannenbaum, link information in the description. Because we had a conversation in one of our uh, Zoom meetings that we have monthly, we talked about series and we ended up making a challenge for the Patreon group and ourselves to start working and thinking more in that way. And I've watched myself and other patrons start implementing the concepts we're talking about in here and see growth. Because when you have something that you're chasing that's tangible like a series, it gives you motivation and you end up creating more 
and seeing more of what you can do. All the artworks that I've been creating as I've been thinking on series have been aimed after increasing the size and grandeur of my landscape images. I want to challenge myself more and part of challenging myself more is going bigger. So I'm doing a little bit more substantially sized pieces. You can kind of see them throughout this video and behind me. If you are interested in checking out any of them for purchase, they are on robinsealark.com. I think that about wraps up my thoughts. I would love to hear what y'all have been thinking, chasing, doing creatively in the comments if you have things to share with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can like it, subscribe, and I will see you in a future video. Bye.